right, so this week's question is, if the Bible isn't the inerrant word of God, is it still valuable? If the Bible is flawed and not perfect, is it still valuable? So I would say yes, in my own experience, for sure. Um, I read scripture almost daily, whether it's, you know, for some work or for my own um, spiritual life and my own sense of connection with myself, with the divine, with others. Um, but outside of myself, um, the Bible also has connected communities, um, individuals, uh, faith traditions for the thousands of years. And, you know, not always in the best way, but it has been a source for a variety of communities to understand, or try to understand the divine, to make sense of their own sense of self and spirituality, and as a, a tool or resource um, to, to live together, to understand each other. Again, sometimes it doesn't go um, well, and other times it does. But there's still value in the biblical text um, because of that disconnection with others. Um, it also um, helps us to at least get a, a sense of how other folks have viewed God, right? These stories about faith that the Bible talks about and the Bible shares um, it has been helpful for many folks uh, throughout time to make sense of, like I said, their own sense of self, their own relationship with God um, and with each other. And so just because I think something is flawed, it doesn't mean that it's invaluable, right? Just because there are various translations of the biblical text, um, just because there are words in the text that we are unsure what they really mean in our time, or even in the time there, it doesn't mean that we have to throw everything away. Right, I think some way, some mysterious way, the breath of God, the spirit of God, um, in our own sense of, of life and self um, and abilities, we can look at the scripture, read the scripture, and find sort of some sort of connection, right? And again, we don't have to take the text literally. We don't have to think that everything we read in scripture is the thing to do. I mentioned this in a previous video. Sometimes the text is there for us to talk back to to say, okay, maybe this is how this story played out, but this may be a more just way, a more loving way to um, engage the same kind of issues and challenges today. Again, the Bible doesn't have to be perfect um, for it to be valuable.